So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input on this test, I'm gonna call a diagram question. And all that means is I'm gonna actually spend some time looking at this diagram before I read the actual question just to get an understanding of what I have here. So this is obviously not a linear graph, but we do have a y-intercept here at looks like 10. And we have an x-intercept here at, I can't tell, looks like definitely over 1.5, somewhere between 1 and 2, but you know, I would say closer to uh, 2 than it is to 1. And we have, it looks like this point here, maybe doesn't exactly go through 1, 7, but pretty close. So um, we have time on the x-axis, we have height on the y-axis, so definitely the height of whatever this is is going down over time is what this is showing us. So this question says a competitive diver dives from a platform into the water. The graph shown gives the height above the water. Okay, so the diver starts off at 10 meters above the water and then dives down into the water. This makes sense now. Um, what is the best interpretation of the x-intercept? What's the best interpretation of this? Well, that x-intercept, again, is like, I don't know, 1.7, let's call it. But it's 1.7 seconds because the x-axis is in seconds. And we're basically saying that that's the point in which the diver is at zero feet above the water. So I would say that means that it takes 1.7 seconds after the diver has jumped off the diving board or off the platform. It takes 1.7 seconds for that diver to hit the water, right, to actually enter the water. So let's see which answer choice matches that. So choice A says the diver reaches a maximum height above the water at 1.6 seconds. That's definitely not true. Choice B, the diver hits the water at 1.6. Okay, so I used 1.7 for my guess, but they're obviously telling us that it's really 1.6. So the diver hits the water at 1.6. I like that a lot, right? Because again, that's what our y value equaling zero would mean here. Um, the height is zero. Choice C, the diver reaches a maximum height. I don't think this has anything to do with maximum height. Um, okay, and then the diver hits the water at 0 0.2. Nope, not at 0 0.2. So choice B here is the correct answer because, yes, it takes those 1.6 seconds for the diver to start off here and to get down and hit the water. Hitting the water basically means zero meters above water.